as I said this morning, we're talking about dimensions of mercy. Those of you who are joining in and streaming in just now, make sure you keep the, the, the conversation going. Make sure you are preaching along with me, making sure you are fired up that we are going to be praying together today. We are talking about dimensions of mercy. I am going to be shooting through scriptures as we are praying along. Hallelujah. We're going to discover the mercy of God on different dimensions. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. God bless you. I want to talk to people who say, Pastor, I've hit rock bottom at one point or the other. And I knew that it, but for the mercy of God, I would not be here, but for the mercy of God, I would not have made it. And we're going to help some people who have hit rock bottom this morning that would need to know how to make the mercy speak for them. How does mercy speak for us? Hallelujah. That rock bottom prayer that you are going to make today, that protocol breaking prayer that you're going to make that says, God, I just need a second chance. I need to connect back to your power. God, I am here seeking your help this morning. Father, we welcome you in this meeting this morning. Holy Spirit, we say, have your way in us. Let your angels be on assignment and be awake to execute. Hallelujah. Father, let us recreate our world with our decrees and declarations. Father, you said if your people will come together and humble themselves, you will hear us from heaven, oh God, and you will answer our prayers. We are here this morning yet again to humble ourselves, oh God, to declare that that we need your help, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We need your help, oh God. We are here, oh God, as people who are broken, oh God, as people who are not perfected, but trying to be perfected, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are just here, oh God, to worship you, oh God, to give you glory, oh God, to, to, to exalt your name, oh Lord, to say hallelujah, you are holy, you are above every other thing, oh God, to put you first as the start of our weekend, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Spirit. We are asking for your help. We are here, Lord, we, as people who have hit rock bottom, who are asking for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is here this morning who woke up this morning who says, I want to start on a clean slate. I know that I've been asking for second chances. I'm probably on the fifth or the 50th chance by now. Thank you, Bassi. Somebody says, I've been here, God. It's me again, oh God. You know that kind of prayer that says, I'm here again, oh God. I know I messed up. I know I fell, but I'm back here again, oh God. Oh my God. Somebody Somebody says, I'm here for a second chance. I want to know about the dimensions of mercy. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the people who are here to be honest and say, God, I've hit rock bottom. I need a second chance. I've hit a rock bottom. I've lost everything. I'm about to lose everything. Oh God, they have sent me letters that they are going to repossess everything. That person that knows that they have no options. That person who says, my God, Father, I've lost my dignity in the process somewhere along the line. I lost my dignity. I lost my self-confidence. Somebody who says I lost my self-worth. Somebody who says, God, I'm struggling with my hope. Somebody who says I'm physically, I'm mentally, emotionally bankrupt. It feels like there's nothing left inside of me. Something, somebody who says this morning, my God, my God, I'm here on this protocol breaking altar to say I have nothing left to rely on. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take the next breath. I'm trying to make the next prayer. I'm trying to sing the next worship song. I feel like I have got nowhere left to go. I'm forced to acknowledge that I've played a part in the mess that I'm in. Yes, God, I'm here again. I'm here again. I'm here to ask for your mercy, oh God. I know that I played a part in where I am. Oh, my God. Somebody type it again, dimensions of mercy. Somebody, or you, you can type the word mercy because I need people who can identify with who God has woke me up for this morning. Talk to me, share and tap that screen. Make sure you are sharing and you, you populate heaven. You are here not only for yourself. You are here not only for your family, but you are also here to make sure that you depopulate hell. It is your responsibility to be a soul winner. So while you are here on this broadcast, you tap and share and you comment. You tap and share and comment. Man, okay, let's do this together. Let's do this. Let's grow the kingdom of God. Talk to me, somebody. But we need to ask for help. God says, I am here for those people who say, I am not ashamed to ask for help sooner. I'm not going to walk around that like I've got it all together and I've, I've, I've got it all. No, I need the mercy of God. Somebody who says, I I, 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 I put myself in this mess. I, I hit rock bottom because I did not ask for help when help was available. So this morning, you have no excuse. I'm here to say to you, 
you. Help is available. So this is your step up moment when you say, Lord, I have hit rock bottom. I confess. Uh, I have hit rock bottom. I didn't accept help when it was available, but this morning I'm raising up my hand uh, and I'm saying I'm going to accept help. Uh, I did not accept help. Uh, I did not want to change my way of life. And as a result, I found myself in this situation. Oh my God. I did not go after things that were good for me. I went after the things that were bad for me. I've hit rock bottom God. I have hurt people that cared about me, people that loved me, people that wanted me to be close, people that wanted to help me. I hit rock bottom God. Help me. God, I don't want to live this way anymore. I don't think I can change. I don't know if I can change, but I'm here on this broadcast anyway. I, I But one thing is that I cannot accept the status quo as it is. I need help. Somebody shout mercy in the comment section. Shout that mercy in the comment section. I just need your mercy, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. I'm here praying right now with this woman that is shouting on my phone screen, on my tablet, as I'm driving to work, as I'm waking up. This woman who is fired up, who is saying, Lord, let mercy speak in my life in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to stand in agreement with Pastor Fortune this morning. And I'm going to say, let mercy speak in my life. Lord, I really want to change. I am at rock bottom. I don't know where else to go. It is good that when you hit rock bottom, because he says he is the rock. He, who is the rock? He is Jesus himself. He is the rock. So at least when you hit rock bottom, you have hit the rock. There is something that's going to happen when you hit the rock. Somebody is awake this morning. He says, I am sorry for everything I've done wrong before your sight, oh God. I'm sorry for everything. I want you in my life. Teach me how to live a good life. Guide me, guide me, guide me this morning. I need your mercy. I need to know how to get mercy. Hallelujah. Somebody shout it again. I need your mercy. Let mercy speak. Let mercy speak. Let's go to Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16. I want to read the scripture in totality. Then I will go into it and just break it down. And as we pray with it, hallelujah. Matthew chapter 20. I'm going to read it from the amplified version because I loved that, that version. Matthew chapter 20, verse one to 16. Make sure you are tapping. Do not leave today. If you have hit rock bottom, I am telling you mercy is going to speak. I need to show you what the Lord showed me. Hallelujah. Mercy, mercy will speak. The Bible says for the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of an estate who went out in the morning at dawn to hire workmen for his vineyard. When he had agreed with the laborers for a denarius, basically a silver coin for the day, he sent them into his vineyard and he went about. So he's hiring them to go work for him for a day and he gives them a coin. And he says, he says, I'm going to give you one coin. And he went about the third hour that was 9 a.m. The third hour was 9 a.m. And saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever, whatever is right, whatever is appropriate as a wages for you. I will pay you the same amount. And they went. And verse five says he went about the sixth hour, the noon, that was noontime. And the ninth hour at 3 p.m. And he did the same thing. And about the 11th hour, somebody type on the comment section, the 11th hour. This is very important for our revelation this morning. Type in the comment section, the 11th hour. Make sure you underline it on your Bible that the 11th hour, the 11th hour. Talk to me. Come on, guys. Let's wake up. Let's do this this morning. 11th hour, 11th hour, 11th hour, 11th hour. Let's type it in the comment section, the 11th hour. I continue. He says, and about the 11th hour, that was 5 p.m. For us, it's our 5 a.m. Talk to me, somebody. At the 11th hour, 5 a.m., he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why have you been standing here idle all day? They answered him, because no one hired us. He told them, you go into the vineyard also. So here we come. I want you to remember this verse. He says he met them at the 11th hour, which was 5 p.m. their time. That is 5 a.m. our time. Look at me. Talk to me. Talk to me, somebody. He says, they answered him. They said, because no one hired us, he told them, you also go into the vineyard. Now, this is the breaking point. 
The people who have hit rock bottom because they realize that the letter that they got, the color of the letter is now red. You know when you receive that notice that is in red? Normally when government warns you or when the bank warns you, they will send you a white letter. There's a green letter, there's a blue letter, and there's a red letter. When the red letter no comes, you know that it is at the time when the lawyers are involved, when all hell is breaking loose, when things are about to go south, when things are about to be repossessed. Oh, Shakadiyama, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting too excited. Ah, somebody needs to catch this. They answered him because no one hired us. He told them, you go into the vineyard also. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last to be hired and the ending with the first to be hired. Now, look at this thing. On this scripture, this guy says, go and pay them, but don't pay the ones that I hired in the morning. Hire the ones that I, I, I hired last, 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 last. Hire the ones that I, I hired at the 11th hour. Pay the ones that you gave the employment at 5 p.m., at 5 a.m. when they arose, at the 11th hour. Pay those ones first, and you end with the ones I hired first. Now you're going to see this. Look at the beauty of this thing. He says, um, where, where was I? Was, yes. He says, when they received it, when they received the salary, they protested and grumbled at the owner of the estate. And when they, and, and they said, these men who, who came the last worked only for one hour. So they were actually knocking off at six, right? The ones that were hired at 6 a.m., they were not paid first. They paid the ones that they hired at 5 p.m. And they only worked for one hour. So the others are grumbling. They're saying, wait a minute. You cannot pay the same wages to us who carried the most of the burden. We worked for most of the day. We worked for most of the hours. And we work, worked when the sun was hot. It was scorching hot. But the owner of the estate replied to one of them. He says, friend, I'm doing you no injustice. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? So he says, what are you? What, 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 what are you? What, why are you, um, you know, why are you catching feelings? Because we agreed on what the salary amount. Where do you enter? On what am I paying the ones who are coming in at 5 a.m.? Talk to me, somebody. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Where, where, why are you concerned? As long as I've paid you what we agreed, we agreed that you were going to work the whole day and you were going to get a silver coin. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. He says, take, did you, did you not agree for me to pay you one silver coin? Take what belongs to you and go. But I choose to give to this last man hired the same as I give to you. Am I not lawfully permitted to do what I choose to do what is mine? Or is your eye envious because I'm generous? So those who are last in this world shall be the first in the world to come. And those who are the first shall be the last. Let me read the last scripture. Then I continue. He says, Am I not lawfully permitted to do what I choose? This is God speaking. He says, I'm allowed to do what I, I want for those who are going to beg me for mercy. I'm if you ask me for mercy, I'm allowed to do what I want, even if you came at the 11th hour. Oh, Jesus. Did somebody catch that? God is saying, I'm allowed to do whatever I want at the 11th hour. I'm allowed. I, is, there, is there something that is wrong? This is the prophetic instruction for us. He says, those who came the last will be the ones who will be paid first. He says, so those who are last in this world shall be the first in the world to come. And those who are first shall be the last. My God. Mm. Mercy shall indeed find you, Mom Kathy. Mercy shall find you. And today we unlock the secrets and the dimensions on how mercy is going to locate us. Because God says, even if you come at the 11th hour, the issue is that you came. Hence, I said, my 5 p.m., I changed it to my 5 a.m. as well. I qualify for mercy because I came to this protocol breaking prayer altar. This is my 11th hour. Oh! Oh, Sophie, you got it. Somebody's already declaring it. Create it. This is my 11th hour. This is my 11th hour. Why? What? How do I find this mercy, Pastor Fortune? How do I find it? Hallelujah. Mercy, number one, the first thing that you need to know, let me teach this quickly and then we pray. It finds people where they are. Mercy finds you where they are. If mercy found you at 3 a.m., at, at 3 p.m., at 5 p.m., that's your business. But mercy chose to find me at 5 a.m. Oh, Jesus, help me, Lord.
Mercy chose to find you on this hour of protocol breaking prayer hour. Mercy chose to find you after the mess you did, after the, 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 the nonsense you did, after the, the, the sinning and the repenting and the sinning and the repenting, and you came back and you still came back to God and you said, no, mercy said, no, mercy said, I'm not going down. Mercy said, I'm not going down the pit. Mercy said, that I'm not going into the grave. Mercy said, your witchcraft will not work on me. Mercy spoke oh this is my 11th hour oh talk to me somebody this is my 11th hour so mercy will find you you need to understand that the first thing about mercy you need to appreciate is that mercy will find you you can be gifted and be a failure there are people who are gifted who are thinking who are who are pompous and they think because they are gifted they are just going to have favor and grace and mercy while operating oper automatically no there are people who think that they started ahead of you and they're thinking that will qualify them and the door will open because they started ahead of you. Ah, the last shall be first. The last shall be first. You qualify, you enter. I decree and I declare as this day has started, as this month of June, as we are halfway the mark, oh my God, mercy will find you. I decree and I declare that mercy will find you. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man and a house master who went out early in the morning. Every time the vineyard master went out, he went out at 3 a.m., he found others that he needed to bless. As he went out at 12, he found those that needed mercy. So don't compare yourself with me. Tell your neighbor, don't compare yourself with me. When the vineyard master comes out and he appropriates that mercy to me, whether he gave it to me at 10 or at 6, it don't matter. You mind your business. I am here at the 11th hour. I am here. Don't worry that I'm getting the same portion or double portion or even more. Mercy will find you. I said, mercy will find you. Oh, somebody needs to say to the Lord this morning, for my sake, my father, my father, find me. Come out and find me. Like the vineyard master came out. Lord, we pray this morning. We are saying, let the vineyard master come out. My daddy, my daddy, come out, come out. I need you to pray along with me right now and ask the Lord and say, for my family's sake, let my daddy come out. Oh, my vineyard master, he is the vineyard master let him come out and appropriate message to you for my family's sake for my finances sake for my opportunities to come out oh i need mercy mercy speaker come out command that mercy to come out for my sake create a need to the world for me let the world need me let the world need the solutions i carry let me be wanted let me be desired in the name of jesus christ lord let the let my location be known in the name of jesus christ let that god let me be qualified for a divine visitation let me be the selected one for a divine visitation this morning lord let let mercy come out for me. Mercy come out for me. In Jesus' mighty name. I hope you are praying along with me. Somebody needs to catch the revelation of the 11th hour. Oh, Jesus. The 11th hour. You are qualified by the 11th hour. Number two, mercy not, not only finds you. Number two, mercy makes you available for selection. Do you understand that even at Woolworths, there is a reason why somebody goes to ShopRite Checkers and Woolworths. There is a dimension where you are selected, where you know that if you are going through a quality assessment, there are those who are A grade, B grade, C grade, and D grade. When you are selected, to be a great child of God. I don't care how long it has been. I don't care how long you've been waiting. Talk to me, somebody. I don't care. Hallelujah. I'm here to decree and, and declare for you this morning that mercy is coming out for you. That mercy will make you available for selection. Mercy will make you to be chosen amongst other maidens who will be chosen to marry the king. Mercy will make you chosen to for, for your own marital settlement. Mercy will make you chosen for your career settlement. Mercy will make you chosen to go to the school you want to go to and study the degree that you need to, go, you, to study. Talk to me. Somebody needs to let mercy come out. Oh, 
Mercy will make it available for you. It will make you available for your selection. My father, my father, let mercy find me also. Keep on declaring that. Hallelujah. Let mercy find me also. Lord, when the names of those who are coming at the 11th hour, those miracle recipients of the 11th hour are announced, count me in. Can we pray that together? Let those, when the names of the people that are called on the 11th hour are mentioned, count me in. Somebody type it in that comment section. Count me in. Count me in. Count me in. I'm counted in. I'm selected. I'm counted in. Lord, my father, my father, when the names of the 11th hour casualties are announced, let my name be deleted. I delete my, the names of my family members from casualties. You see, at the 11th hour, if you've ever noticed, when the year crosses, it's like New Year's Eve. People are, are, are hyper. Emotions are hyper. People are partying. Others are drinking. Others are drinking and driving. Accidents happen. Others are crossing over to a higher dimension of mercy. Others are, high, are, are crossing over to a better dimension, to a better joy, to, to, to a, a higher dimension, basically, of the next level of their lives. Others are going into the casualties in the hospital. I, my, I, my prayer for you today and my decree and decree declaration is that your name and your family's name shall be deleted. It shall not go to the casualty department in the hospital, but your name shall be counted on the ones that are going on to the next level of mercy. Oh, oh yes, Sophie, delete my name from Emily family casualties. I'm not going to any casualty hospital. I'm not making any doctor rich. My family will not make any doctor rich. I'm not amongst the casualties. I'm not going to be a statistic. Oh, Count me in, oh God, on the 11th hour miracle recipients. I'm a miracle recipient. Somebody needs to declare it to, for God, to God. I am an 11th hour miracle recipient. I am a recipient of the 11th hour miracle. The last minute miracle when there's an hour to go. Oh, Kayaba Shatakala. Number three, mercy activates your blessings. It finds you, it selects you, and it activates your blessings. Oh, somebody call on mercy again. Let mercy locate you and activate your blessing. When the vineyard master found them, he said he he active, they needed a blessing. The Bible says they were wandering about. They were idly. They were idle. They were just standing around the marketplace doing nothing. They did not know. And when the the last number, the eleventh hour was, they said nobody hired us. Even when you just know. Even when the guy, shame, that guy who was at the, the, by the pool of Bethesda, sitting there for the day, I don't know how to go in. But the 11th hour miracle worked for him. Jesus, have mercy on me. Kasho katakanya. Isaiah 43, 19 confirms, he says, watch for the new thing. Who is here for a new thing? You've been stuck 38 years. You've been stuck five years. I'm not comparing myself. My neighbor, I'm not comparing myself. Mercy is just speaking for me. Don't blame me that I'm an 11th hour miracle recipient. Ha, Kali Abasuko. It's already happening. Shall you not perceive it? Shall you not perceive this new thing? Oh, leke shakata kadia. I am making a road in the desert. I am making a road in the wilderness. I will give you streams of water in the desert where people don't know where to, where the borehole is not there, where there is no piping system for water. I will make sure that you are, um, you are planted on rivers of living water. Your leaves are evergreen, ever fresh. You see, I don't even need a jersey this morning. Ah, ever fresh, ever, ever, ever fresh. Kalaba shotoko. Affliction shall not rise the second time. Mercy speak for me. I'm 11th hour miracle in the happening. You are in the process. My father, my father, as I pray with them, oh God, those that are at the sound of my voice, every good thing that is commensurate, every good thing that is compatible with my destiny, but it is still missing in this 11th hour, my God, restore it. 
Oh, Jesus. My father, my father, I declare and I declare to everybody who's at the sound of my voice uh, that anything that is missing, that is the connecting factor, that is the missing tile, that is the missing piece uh, to their 11th hour miracle. Father, let it be found right now. Let it be implemented. Let it be activated right now. Restore it, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my God, my God, uh, the Holy Spirit says uh, dead gifts, dead talents uh, that God has given you are being activated right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, any gift or talent that the Lord had given you and that thing you thought was dead. He says, I am activating it right now in every area that you have been sleeping. The Lord is waking you up right now in every area where your angels have been sleeping. The Lord is waking them up right now at, as in this middle of the year. Oh Jesus, yes, I hear you. There is a newness that is filling you up in this June. This is your January. Don't worry, you can make new resolutions. You can take new steps. You are crossing over in a different way. This is your moment of encounter. You are being counted in. This is your 11th hour miracle. Miracle. You are 11th hour miracle recipient. Hallelujah. You are being filled with the newness right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am, Kathy. That is the Holy Spirit doing that for you right now. Right now. Oh my God, my God, my God, I declare and I declare to everybody that is at the sound of my voice, my God, every curse of disfavor that has manifested in your life right now, loose your hold, loose your hold from them right now in the name of Jesus. Every curse of disfavor must loose its hold from you. It has no right in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What does mercy do, Fortune? Tell them what mercy does. Mercy will boost your self-esteem and your confidence. Mercy will help you to walk with your head up high. Mercy will remind them that that the gates need to be lifted up. Jesus, my God. As I pray, Lord, every destiny killer that has been taking along with us right now, Father, we command them to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has been a destiny killer that you are not spotting them. May God expose them and may God deal with them. May the wrath of God visit them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May they catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that every low self-esteem baggage that we have been carrying since the beginning of this year, I don't know when you your own started, whether you have been carrying a baggage of self, low self-confidence from this year or last year or, or three years ago or 10 years ago. I don't know what the dad that divorce did to you. I don't know what it happened, what happened to you when they took the car. I don't know what happened when they took the house. I don't know what happened when you kept on being rejected letter after letter, being told that you're not getting a job. All I know is that that's low self-confidence level right now. That baggage, it has been feeling like a baggage. You've been carrying it up and down right now. Oh, it will not end. That's what he's been saying right now. I want you to say no. It ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. No more low self-confidence. Now, right now, God, we decree and we declare that low self-confidence package. We are commanding you to go right now. Catch fire right now. We are saying no to you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare that you celebration, you are not worthless in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you are not worthless in the name of Jesus Christ. You are, you are, you have worth. You are valuable. Lady Lee, you are valuable in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, shakati akaliaba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The power of God, the mercy of God that helps a man, the power of God, the mercy of God that helps a man and makes him worthy. Find me now. Find me now. Call on it. Call on it. That power that helps people, that power that needs to help me, that mercy that needs to work for me. Find me now. Declare it. Call it forth. Find me now. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. I'm worthy. No more low self-confidence. That low self-confidence has caught fire with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every glory hunter that has been looking for your demise, I command them to be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who are those glory hunters right now. I command them to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in every area of your life that you have been rejected repeatedly, let mercy find you. 
Every area where you have been rejected, I want you to ask right now in that bonus, wherever you are, and say, what are you waiting for? Mercy, what are you waiting for? Find me. Find me. Let mercy find me. Oh, shakala bakadi abasoga. Daddy, we are tired of running helter skelter. Let mercy establish us. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice, who dared to wake up and fight for their destiny and fight for their future. Everybody who says, who said, I am not too, I, I'm not ashamed to say I've hit rock bottom. I'm not ashamed to ask for help. Father God, everybody on this protocol breaking prayer altar, right now, my God, we are we are tired. We are tired of running helter skelter, asking for help from people who don't want to help us. Right now, Lord, we are Ask for your mercy to establish us. Let us be established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mercy is establishing you right now. Let mercy establish you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Alaba soto kodia. Father, let me receive a call also. Call me, Lord, in the midst of the Lord. Call me. Just call me now. Just call me now. Just call me now. I need that call also. Father, I want that call, that miracle call that everybody also gets. I want, call me. Oh, let heaven call you this morning. Let mercy establish you. Yes, Sophie, call me, Lord. Call me, I'm ready. Anoint my forehead with your favor. Anoint, put your hand on your, on your head. Anoint me with favor. Anoint me with, with favor in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Kalamakotia. I prophesy to you right now with the same mouth I used to pray. I decree and I declare. I prophesy. In this 2023, you will not be dormant in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, you will not be dormant. D-O-R-M-A-N-T. You will not be idle. You will not be dormant. I refuse in the name of Jesus. You will not be idle. You will not be dormant. No, 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 no. Everything in you is alive right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will not die. You will not be dormant. You will not die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How am I doing for times? Somebody say it again. Somebody say it again. Mercy locate me. Mercy. I refuse to be dormant in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse. What does mercy do, Pastor Fortune? Mercy reverses the times. Are we communicating together? Mercy is going to reverse the time. Hallelujah. When you go to verse 6, it says, About the 11th hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said to them, Why do you stand here all day and idle? Hallelujah. They said, Because no one has hired us. Hallelujah. The mercy reversed the time to go collect the people of the 11th hour. Somebody make, needs to declare this and say, reverse, reverse the times. May mercy reverse the times, reverse the times for me. Claim it for yourself. Reverse the time for me. Reverse the time. Somebody, somebody just declared something for their father right now. If you, you, I believe your father is sick, right? I don't know. This is what I'm hearing in the spirit. Your father is sick. Your father is sick and you are asking for mercy for the reversal of the time. Oh, Jesus. Father, this is the 11th hour. Reverse the time. Let the time favor me. Reverse the time for me. Let the, let the time favor me. Let, let me not be told that I'm too old for that job. Let reverse the time. Reverse the time for me to repair my unity with my siblings. Reverse the time for the for the friction that has been having. Yes, yes. You somebody just confirmed yes that somebody who's been sick. Oh, reverse the time. Reverse the time, oh God. Let it not be. Let let let, let us not be told that they, they they caught it too late. No, reverse the time. Mercy. I need you to reverse the time. I need you to reverse the time. There is no diagnosis that came too late. No, reverse the time. Mercy needs to reverse the time. Reverse the time, oh God. Reverse the time to remind my spouse when he loved me and he looked at me with love and he was not cheating or was committing adultery. Reverse the time. Reverse the time. Let time favor you. I decree and I declare that time will favor you. Ah! Let time favor you, Gundo. Ah, Guys are in the spirit. Oh my God. 
Every lost year, every lost month, every lost days, every lost weeks, this is your 11th hour. Reverse them speedily. Come on, ask for mercy to be reversed speedily. Let the time be speedily reversed. My God, my God, let the time be reversed speedily. Mm -mm. It's not too late. It's not too late. Whatever I have missed out on life, my father, Whatever we need to complete, whatever we missed out, let mercy fast track it now in the name of Jesus. Let mercy fast track everything that I missed out on life. Anything that I need for my destiny. Oh, mercy fast track it. Let mercy fast track it. Every time killer, every season destroyer that has followed you for years, I command it to lose its hold right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me say that prayer again so that you can say that amen well. Make sure you are thundering that amen. I said, I decree and I declare right now that every time killer, every season destroyer that has followed you for years, it is going to lose its hold right now in the name of Jesus. It's losing its hold right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I love talking to people who are, who are candidates of the 11th hour miracle. You are an 11th hour miracle recipient in the name of Jesus Christ. Your season of wastage. I love this woman. You season of wastage, I command you right now, expire in the name of Jesus. I command every season of waste, I command your wasters to be wasted right now. Let the Lord Almighty God, Jehovah himself, with the whole army of angels, begin to deal with your wasters. Oh my God, my father, my father, begin to waste my wasters. Anything that has been wasting my time, anything that has been wasting my activated blessing right now in the name of Jesus, let them catch fire. Let them destroy themselves. Daddy, restore our time. Daddy, restore our time in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, when you are done with me, let it show. Let it not, let, like, you know, your prayer, your next prayer should be, God, when, when they look at me, when you are done with the restoration, oh God, when mercy has visited me, let it be visible. Let me show evidence of mercy. Let me show evidence that I never, it, it should be like, I've never missed anything. That is the kind of restoration that he's releasing this morning. Restore it. Number six, what will mercy do, Pastor Fortune? Mercy. Mercy will command freedom. It will command your freedom from stagnancy. Mercy demands that you are free from stagnancy. You will no longer be stagnant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody declare it again. I will not be stagnant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mercy will command freedom from stagnancy. He says, why do you stand here and all day idle? Do you understand when the vineyard keeper came on, on the spot in verse 6 of that Matthew chapter 20? He's basically saying, why do you stand here all day idle? He's saying, God is saying, it is not proper for a child of God to be idle. It is not proper for your, your life to be idle and stagnant. He says, you have to be moving. You have to be rewarded. You have to be, you, you have to be going to one level to the next level. New dimensions of mercy like that. New dimensions of grace and favor. Oh, my father, my father. As I gather, as we are gathered, let us pray. Every power of idleness, every power of stagnancy in any area of my life, let it be broken. Let us pray that prayer right now. My father, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that every form of stagnancy, every form of idleness in my life, in any area right now, I decree and I declare that it shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You heard it, Sophie. Oh, Jesus. You know how I know you heard it? Because before I even say certain things, you guys are typing it. And I saw Gunda also saying it. Because now I know who are my intercessors who are with me. This, this, this is God. This is confirmation. Guys, run with this. God does not want you stagnant. Keep at it. Keep at it, mom. So keep at it. Kasha katakadi. Hey, my God. Father, we command every locked door. 
that has turned us into a dumb person. Every locked door that has made us to look stupid. Whether it is a door of relationship, whether it is a door of business, whether it is a door of career. My father, I command it right now to open up in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, as I pray, I decree and I declare this morning, every locked door of relationship, every locked door of business, every locked door of career, every locked door in my family that has made us to look stupid, that has made us to look like dumb people. Right now, we command it to open up in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, I speak to every idle habit, every lazy habit, every lazy lifestyle that is threatening our future. Right now, may we be delivered from that idleness in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody who's at the sound of my voice, I declare and I declare, I bind the spirit of laziness. I bind the spirit of idleness in the name of Jesus. You will not be idle. You will not be lazy. You will move forward. You will charge forward and you will activate in everything in Jesus' mighty name. You are being delivered right now. If you were lazy, if you were a procrastinator, Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree it. You are delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kalia Masonda, my father, my father, every abuse, every abuse, every taunting that has been directed, Makodia Masonda, to us, oh God, due to stagnancy, whatever has been abusing us because we have been stagnant, whatever has been abusing us because, you know, what they don't want us to move forward. Let your white, your blood, the blood of Jesus, wipe it off. Let the blood of Jesus brought that thing out in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, every sneering, wherever I've been sneered, every jeering that has been directed at me at my due season, every sneering that has made me to have slow progress, right now at this 11th hour, my father, my father, respond to them. The God who answers by fire, at this 11th hour, respond to them. Anything that has been slowing me down, every arrow that has been shot your way, that has been slowing down your progress, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to declare and scream it right from your belly and say, Lord, I'm overdue. Lord, I'm overdue. I'm about to give birth. I've known that I've been carrying this thing inside of me for too long. I'm overdue. Surprise me in this season. Surprise me in this 11th hour. Oh God, I'm overdue for a miracle. In this 11th hour miracle, do not pass me by in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me not be found being idle. My God, my God, in the name of Jesus, God, I'm ashamed my helper come out come out come out where are you call your destiny helpers let them come out in the name of jesus christ my destiny helper where are you come out what are you waiting for in the name of jesus come out and help me now this is my due season this is my season to push in the name of jesus anyone anything anywhere that can help me come out korea come out now Anyone, anywhere, anywhere, wherever they are, whatever the thing is, it must come out now. Oh, Kalaba Shokodia. Oh, Rabababa Shiakodia. Wherever it's coming from, Lord, send it now, send it now, send it now. Let that deliverance come through right now. Send it now, send it now. Whoever is holding my help, come out now. What will mercy do, Pastor Fortune? How am I doing for time? Okay, I've, I've got 10 minutes, I'm done. Mercy will make you productive and mercy will make you useful. Mercy will make you productive and mercy will make you useful. Did you hear it? I want you to clear it. And as I'm saying it, you say, I am useful. I am productive. Apostle has been teaching you how to create your world with the declarations and decrees for the past few days. And I've heard it. So I'm telling you, I'm saying mercy will make you productive and useful. And your response, this is a call and response. Your response is, I am useful and I'm productive. You already start praying that through. You are long overdue, Madikelech. I'm useful and I'm productive. They worked. They found work. They were pulled out of idleness. They were pulled out of stagnancy. They were pulled out. They worked. They were busy. I will be busy this year. I will be busy and I will be productive. There are people who are busy bodies, but they are not producing anything. But your own will be different. You will be busy and you will be productive. You will work. You will be employed. Mercy will reverse the lazy posture. Mercy will reverse the lazy posture. Some of you have been too comfortable as if you are sitting on a lazy boy couch. My God, let it be reversed. I don't want a lazy posture. I want a productive posture. I want to be moving. I want to be producing. I want to be, I want to be making waves. 
I want to be I want to be a trendsetter. Kalaba shenteki ya masoto. Oh, listen, Proverbs 12, 27, I've just been reminded by the Holy Ghost. He says, if you are lazy, you will never get what you are after. But if you work hard, you will get a fortune. Go and look at it. You think I'm lying? Go and check it. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 27. That's why you get me this morning. It says, if you are lazy, you will never get what you are after. But if you work hard, you will get a Fortune. I'm just a child of God. I'm crazy about the kingdom of God. My name is Pastor Fortune. I am here to announce to you that you will be productive this year in the name of Jesus Christ. In this 11th hour, you will be productive, Unista, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the rest of this year and throughout this, throughout the rest of this month, you will be productively busy. Productively busy. You will be productively busy, Masiko. Be productively busy, Ovi. Be productively busy, Miss M. Productively busy, Miss Kathy. No one is too old. For the rest of this year and throughout the rest of this month, I decree and I declare you will be useful and you will be relevant in the name of Jesus Christ. I said you will be useful and you will be relevant. You will be useful and you will be relevant in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, with the authority you've endowed on me, oh my God, for the rest of this year, and throughout the rest of this month, I decree and I declare that your place shall not be taken. Your place shall not be taken. Your place shall not be taken. Take your place. You know, my family moves chairs away because the way I pray, they don't even leave any chair for me in, my, in the background wherever I am. I said your place shall not be taken. So whoever is sitting on your chair, Shake whatever chair you are sitting on, shake, shake them off. Let it be symbolic of you shaking them off. I'm shaking you off from my position in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm shaking you off. Whoever is holding my promotion, I am shaking you right now in the name of Jesus. Nobody shall take my place. Hold your chair. Nobody shall take my place. I decree and I declare, nobody shall take my place. I am sitting here. I'm sitting on the head of the devil. I'm in charge. I am sitting here. I'm in charge. I'm the king of this jungle. I'm the king of this palace. Are you getting it? I, is it? Is it taking root? Those of you who came here not pregnant, you are living pregnant. You are productive this month in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare your place shall not be taken. For the rest of this year and throughout the rest of this month, I want you to de declare, Lord, use me. Lord, use me, use me and use my family. Use me and use my family. Use my ministry. Use my business. Use me to make, make an effect. Use me to be relevant. Use me to change lives. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me, oh God. Use me. Use me. Use me and my family. Oh my God, I feel something. Oh God, it's hit me now. Oh God, I hope I'll finish this message. Use me. Use me. Use me. Oh God. Oh, oh, I feel such a rush of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is so much. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Ah, kashata kaliebe soto. Use me, use me. Anna, God will use you. Use me, use me. So, Mom Sophie, there is a switch. There is a switch. There is a switch. There is more. There is more. <clears throat> oh, my God. There is more. The Lord says, dig deeper. Go deeper. Yo There is a prophetic anointing on your on your head, Mam Sophie. We'll talk offside. Jesus Christ. He says you will be able to hear even more and see even more. Oh, use me. Somebody keep on declaring, use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Use my family for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. 
for the rest of this year and the rest of this month in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be inspired in this hour of power. I want you to put your name. Use Anna. Use fortune. Use You put your name. Decree it in the comment section. Use me in this 11th hour for your glory. Use me. Mention your name. Be proud of your name. Use me. Use me. Oh, let me quickly finish this because I can see that I'm just going to be somewhere in the spirit zone now. Mm, mm, mm. Mercy will open doors when all hope has been lost. Mercy, the mercy that we are stepping into this morning, it will open doors. Thank you for those who are gifting. It will open doors when all hope is lost. Where are my rock bottom people? Where are my people who are saying, I've lost all hope against hope? All hope, we believe in hope. Having done all to stand, we stand therefore. Mercy will open doors of those who have lost hope. Ah, I declare and I declare. My mercy doors are open in the name of Jesus Christ. I have hope. I have hope. My mercy doors are open. I have hope. My mercy door is open. I have hope in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No longer will you be saying, no one has hired me. No, my mercy door is open. When the next thought is being processed by that person, I don't know who is holding your papers. Mention their name. I don't know if it's a department. Mention their name. Whatever you have been waiting for approval. When the next thought is being processed by that person, let your name be dropping into the mind of that person. Then you... When that person, hold, just when they open their office, before they even sit down on the chair, they must just be hearing fortune, fortune, Sophie, Sophie, Rispa, Rispa, Ovi, Ovi. As they are sleeping, when they are trying to, to, to watch a movie, they must be seeing Joanne, 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 Buitumelo, in the name of Jesus. Oh, who is this person? Who, I've seen this document somewhere. Where is the document for Buitumelo? I need to approve it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to approve. Let your name be ringing. Ring. It will ring on the person. Every thought, they are trying to process something else. They are trying to think about something else. Your name will continue to be dropping. Bongiwe's names will be coming in. Oh, Jesus, help me, God. Help me, God. From now until the end of 2023. From now. You see, when I say 2023, you type your name. You type your name. From now, even into 2023, even into 2024. Fortune. Nogwanda. Takunda. Emily. Maria. Stella. Sophie, Tasha, greatness and goodness shall follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. From now till the end of 2023 into 2024, I decree and I declare that greatness and goodness shall follow you. Eva, goodness and greatness and mercy shall follow you. Ah, all my family members, I, I tell your names, greatness and goodness shall follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Agnes, Peladi, come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Leah, Candy, greatness and goodness. Mercy shall hire you. Mercy shall hire you, Priska. Mercy shall hire you, Joanne. Mercy shall hire you, Mlungisi. Mercy shall hire you, Olive. Rispa, mercy is hiring you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, I decree and I declare. 2023 can never be over until mercy hires you. Mercy shall hire you, Herbert. Mercy shall hire you, Togozani. Mercy shall hire you, Mlungisi. Mercy shall hire you, Joyce. Mercy shall hire you, Genesis. Mercy shall hire you, Victor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I declare that mercy shall hire you, Zipposa. Megan, mercy shall hire you. Oh, my God, I speak to every destiny destroyer right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every dream killer. I speak to every struggling habit that you may have. I speak to every spiritual or, or physical difficulty right now. Whatever has been holding your progress back loses its hold from you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, I see Janet. God is not done. He says, mercy shall hire you. Goodness and mercy. Jo Noah, Google. 
Eunice, ah, Kadia, Masekelia, Makoria, Basanda, Eunista, Luella, in the mighty name of Jesus, Connie, Vevi, in the name of Jesus Christ, mercy shall hire you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my father, my father, Gundo, mercy shall hire you. Greatness and goodness shall follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Tembile, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Sela, in the mighty, Boiti, Kathy, oh my God. Everybody at the sound of my voice, Savita Lachman, mercy shall follow you. Goodness and 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 mercy shall follow all of you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you, Somlanda. Goodness and mercy shall follow you, you Lucy, in the name of Jesus Christ. My father, I thank you. Lord, as I declare that as mercy is following them right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is restoring the time. Makoria Masonda, the Lord is restoring the time for you and your loved one, Sylvia. The Lord is restoring the time for you, Martin, in the name of Jesus Christ. Harris, the Lord is restoring the time. Zippos, the Lord is restoring the time. Ovi, the Lord is restoring the time in the name of Jesus. Barbie, the Lord is restoring the time in the name of Jesus. RG21, the Lord is restoring the time. I did not come to play this morning. I came to give you fortune in the name of Jesus Christ in all its dimensions. Mercy in all its dimensions. I am, I am releasing from the depths of me, the depths of everything that God has put inside of me. I am crying on your behalf. I am standing in with you and I'm in agreement with you. I'm saying mercy shall speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Olga, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, greatness and mercy, goodness and mercy, greatness and mercy, the greatness DNA will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sophie, it shall speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord will increase your faith. The Lord will increase your faith. Somebody needs to pray. God, increase my faith. You will not, you will not doubt. You will not be shaken. Those who have hit rock bottom, it's good. You hit the rock. You are not sinking to anything. You've hit the rock that is higher than you. You have hit the rock that is Christ. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Talk to me so that the Holy Spirit can release what it wants to say. I have said you have hit the rock that is higher than you. You have hit the rock that is solid. You have hit a solid rock foundation. So if you woke up this morning and saying, God, I feel like I have hit rock bottom. Yes, you did. You have hit the rock bottom but just, uh, you landed on the rock that is solid, a solid foundation that is making sure that you are bouncing back. Oh, Jesus. My faith be increased in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to command and decree and declare it's my faith is being increased in the name of Jesus Christ. When the next discussions is being held Masonda, wherever they are discussing about me, let it be a beneficial discussion about me in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever office, whatever door, whatever table, whatever a meeting, let it be beneficial. When they are talking about you, let it be to your benefit in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, let it be to the benefit of your destiny. Let it speak for you. Let mercy speak for you. It shall be for your benefit in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be to your benefit. Somebody type it as we throw. Say it is for my benefit. Mercy is for my benefit. I receive mercy for my benefit. I receive mercy for my benefit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I declare and I decree, Lord, everybody who has woken up this morning, they have come into contact with their 11th hour miracle. They have come into contact with their power moment. In the name of Jesus Christ, in this very hour, Lord, that we have spent together, my God, Father, I thank you, Lord, that mercy has been re released, uh, irrespective of their history, oh God, uh, that mercy has been released on them in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my God, mercy has stopped the rot of stagnation and idleness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I ask, Lord, on their behalf, in the name of Jesus Christ, that mercy continues to speak for them and their family members continually in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, no matter how long, my God, they have traveled in that situation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any pending or hidden breakthrough progress uh, that they They've been waiting for that they've been stuck my god let it be released now in the mighty name of jesus christ right now i command any hanging blessings any hanging miracle that is being held i don't know who is the prince of persia that has been fighting you in the name of jesus christ but right now i command the release of blessings right now it is being released every hanging blessing is being released and you're coming into your activation of blessings this morning when your mercy is speaking for you right now in the name of jesus christ in this hour of of power in this hour of protocol breaking power in the name of Jesus Christ in this power protocol breaking altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Akania Masoto Kodia Masonda let it be for me now in the name of Jesus Christ 
Oh, Kadia Basunda, you will respond to your season in the name of Jesus Christ. You will respond to this season in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every lost opportunity is being restored to a greater glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree concerning you, every single body who's at the sound of my voice right now, it is well with you. It shall be well with you because mercy will avail for you. It is well with you. It shall be well with you. Mercy will avail what you need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree concerning every single person who's at the sound of my voice right now, it is well with you because mercy will avail for you. This is your day of visitation in the name of Jesus Christ. And those of you who will have your day of visitation tomorrow, those of you who will even have your day of visitation throughout the, because the Lord is saying to me that throughout the month of June, you will be having different visitations, different seasons as you are growing your faith, as you are making sure that you are always declaring that you're incre you are increasing in your faith. The Lord will speak more. Most of you will, will have more visitations. You will have more visions in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kariyama Sanda. And I hear the Holy Spirit says you will not be deaf. He's unplugging your spiritual ears. You will no longer be deaf not, and to say that you cannot hear the Lord. You will hear the Lord for yourself. You will no longer be deaf. You will be perceptive when you look at things even around you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for unplugging God. Mercy will drown every voice of opposition in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let mercy provoke all that is good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Thank you for the relocation, oh God. Mercy has relocated you in Jesus' mighty name. Be a blessing to somebody, tag somebody, and tell them mercy has located you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your presence. Father, thank you, Lord, for using me and choosing me as a vessel today. I don't take it for granted. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I hand it over to you. It is these, this is us. These, this, we are your children. The rest is you. All glory goes to you. All testimonies go to you. All, all, all the things that will come about as a result of the evidence of the mercy in our lives will glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel to deliver your message. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's a friend of you. A friend of mine normally says, I say, just over to you, my dear. God, this one, over to you. Amen and amen. I want to thank those of you who are on YouTube and Facebook. Those of you who will watch the replay on YouTube as well. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, if you want to watch the replay, you can go to uh, YouTube. My my um what do you call this thing my handle is fortune l online on all social media channels uh guys i'm gonna catch up on the messages on tiktok as well okay so don't despair you can message me make sure you are following the host account that you are watching me from wherever you are watching from please make sure you follow guys those of you who are on facebook please make sure you are following um apostle mara takunda mara um it's the small account right don't follow the big account anymore because somebody hijacked that one but make sure you are following the smaller account um he's rebuilding himself on on facebook amen so let's make sure you are follow follow him more importantly on youtube because sometimes you know facebook is not so stable so we really appreciate uh those of you who are showing up there's no preacher without a a, a, a congregation so if you guys don't show up for prayers i'll go and pray separately alone but i'm just doing what god has asked me to do and to come out here and we are praying for you even uh offline we do receive your prayer requests and we do genuinely pray because we know that when you prosper we prosper we know that we all shine and it's all to the glory of god amen somebody thank you so much so thank you for those of you who are on facebook and youtube i'm going to stop the stream now have an awesome awesome weekend we meet is today saturday sorry i've i've been traveling so i don't even i have an idea what day of the week it is today but we meet at 10 p.m today and 5 a.m every single day of the week 5 a.m every single day at the 11th hour right protocol breaking prayers at the last minute hallelujah
Nessa, we'll pray about it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Okay, let me address Nessa. Actually, the Lord placed in my heart last night that we are going to have a session where we are praying for husbands specifically. Okay, so I'm making an announcement so that those of you who watch the Facebook and the and the YouTube, make sure you follow, make sure you come back on TikTok, you check the posters that we put up on the day, that specific day, because the Lord laid in my heart that we need to pray for husbands specifically. <clears throat> In, in, in our lives, okay? Um, specifically with an idea of restoring families, but there's a need for us to pray for our husbands. So I, I, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that whatever is stressing him, uh, was it Nisa? Nisa, yes, Nisa. Um, I pray for your husband, whatever are his stresses right now, that the Lord gives him peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding that will give him peace, that he will not resort to substance abuse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that there will be an intervention. You don't have to shout at him anymore. Just tell him you love him and you just, you know, God will, will come through for you. And please just connect with me, inbox me. <clears throat> so that I don't miss out. Guys, I've got a WhatsApp group. Um, send me a message with your WhatsApp number. I will add you on the WhatsApp group and just say, please add me on the WhatsApp group. At least you know that you always get the notices, um, even if you miss them on social media. So I pray for him. Anybody who's under any substance abuse, we're going to address it. There's a lot that men are carrying. There's a lot. I know there's a lot women are carrying. We know, but there's a certain resilience that we already have, you know, that God at least gave us. But we need to pray for our husbands as well. We need to pray for the men in our lives, the men in our nations, because a lot of things that are happening. Um, I don't want to start a new meeting now. Because otherwise, if I go deep and then I'm going already into that message that God has already told me, but there's a lot that men are dealing with. And sometimes they may not be able to know how to deal because we expect them not to cry. Right. There's a lot that they are putting inside. So we're going to pray for them right now. There's a lot. Thank you, guys. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Facebook.